this is Anna Hoffman with Traffic Generation Cafe, where you get big web traffic ideas for small marketing budgets. And this is Periscope on Android, your A to Z tutorial, everything you need to know to master Periscope, and nothing you don't. Periscope is a Twitter-owned live streaming app. It allows you to broadcast live video from anywhere. You can learn everything you need to know about using Periscope on Android in my full Periscope tutorial at Traffic Generation Cafe at the link on your screen or in the video description below. In part one of this Periscope video tutorial, you learn how to create your Periscope account if you haven't already done so. An important tip about creating your Periscope username how to set up your Periscope profile, and the anatomy of your Periscope homepage. First things first, download the app from Google Play. Well, doesn't hurt to mention it. Create your Periscope account is your next step. First, tap on Login with Twitter, and then allow to authorize Periscope to use your account. This, of course, assumes that you already have your Twitter account or accounts added to this phone. If you don't, you'll be asked to add or create one now. You can also log into Periscope with your phone number, but quite honestly, why would you want to miss out on Twitter integration? If you have more than one Twitter account, you can switch between accounts by tapping on Tap to Switch Accounts field located at the top of your screen. Then you can choose an existing account or add another one. Now off to setting up your Periscope account. Important, this is your only chance to pick the right username. There are no taxes backses on Periscope. You won't be able to change it for now anyway. This is perfect time to claim your real name, don't you think? And here's a quick tip for you. Capitalize each word in your username. It'll make it immediately more readable and recognizable to Periscope viewers. And that's that. You are in. Periscope newbie, meet Periscope on Android. Here's the anatomy of your Periscope homepage. You can tap on TV icon to watch people you follow. Tap on globe icon to watch people around the globe. Tap on people icon to find people to follow. And of course, you can find me at Anna Hoffman on Periscope. And you can tap here to stop, start a broadcast. Of course, when you first start with Periscope, your homepage will look more like this. But don't worry, you'll find some great folks to follow in the next part of this Periscope tutorial. For now, let's learn how to manage your Periscope profile. Here's where you find your profile. Tap on the people icon and then tap on you in the top right corner. Here's how to change your profile info, photo, screen name and bio. Click on the little pencil on the edit button at the top right corner of your screen. And now you can change your photo, screen name and bio. Of course not your username. Under your profile you can also see your followers and follow them back, people you are following and unfollow them if you wish to do so, people you've blocked and unblock them for whatever reason, as well as your broadcast replays. You can watch them or delete them but nothing else. What else can you do under your profile? Adjust push notifications. Just like this, go into settings and you can adjust all kinds of notifications as you please. And now you are all set to go explore Periscope world. I know, I know, I'm excited too. What? You are not on Periscope yet? What are you waiting for? Let's get you started now. Once again, you can discover Periscope for yourself in my full Periscope tutorial at Traffic Generation Cafe. 
click on the link on your screen or in the description below the video. And once again, this is Anna Hoffman with TrafficGenerationCafe.com wishing you happy periscoping.